before I have starting from today's session we will be looking into the development and design of the algorithm this will be mostly simple algorithms which we will develop using the indicator of our choice we will take any one indicator and we will see how we can uh, design the algorithm using that particular indicator and we will uh, also take a look on uh, the visual j4x platform to see its functions and then utilize its uh, functionality to our advantage so let's get started for today's session today we are going to use the kaufman adaptive moving average which is part of the moving average series of indicators in uh, last introductory series i had talked about this uh, particular indicator now in today's session i will give you a brief idea of how we can utilize this indicator on the visual j forex board to design and develop the algorithm of our choice and it will work just the way we want it to so here the brief description is provided this is the, the moving average in which even the volatility is given weighted so if the volatility is there the movement for the adaptive moving average will be quite sharp and it will be passing at a distance from the price action when there is uh, not much of volatility the price is range bound in uh, such circumstances it will be fairly close to the price action so we have to remember this uh, key differential key distinction now let us head to the j4x board uh, sorry j4x platform where we will see how we can uh, design and develop the algorithm for this session we are not really going into the complexity of these uh, indicators calculation which we have already discussed in prior session so in today's session the setup is going to be simple we will be looking for a buy trade whenever we see the price action is above the kama kaufman adaptive moving average and it has corrected somewhat at least till uh, this line of kma and from there it has found the buying momentum and it is trying to reverse the course and at this point of time we will want the buy trade to happen so we can uh, go for execution on the trade and see if it is likely to be profitable or not so this is uh, fairly simple to understand only one indicator is going to be used the kama and then uh, maybe a couple of uh, historical candles we will need to retrieve the data how the price action has unfolded we will need its uh, high and low values and also we will uh, need to take uh, multiple kama blocks to make sure that we have enough of data points to do the comparison as i have said the condition is also going to be the condition is also going to be dependent on kma only if the kma is on the rise and the price reversal happens that there is some correction and again it finds new buying momentum only during such circumstances we want the trade to happen so we have to make sure that all the required indicator box are there so let us head to the visual j forex board here you will need to find the kama indicator here it is before we join this indicator we will take a couple of copies of it so here we are going to take a couple of kma blocks and uh, it blocks also components logical components we will need to do the instrument subscription so that trade execution happens flawlessly no multiple trades should be executed at the same time so for that we are also going to set the condition using the if block
here we will need to take into account the position info all position position amount and this should be 0 okay so the first condition has been set let us now join it here We will use on candle as our start point for today's session. Then we need to do the instrument subscription. For instrument subscription, we will again need to go and look into the default variables for the default instrument. And then we will need to access the on candle last panel instrument then comes the question of what to join next before that we will take this it should be less than or equals to zero we have set this condition Okay, all position position amount is going to be below the zero or equals to zero that means when there is no open position no current position is opened in the count only then the trade will happen default instrument candlestick candle instrument again we need an instrument this should be equal and then we will also need to define euro usd here let me see where is euro usd okay i got it now we have done the instrument subscription and the condition for execution of the trade using the block and the instrument it should be equal to USD. We are going to need these couple of blocks. We are going to take two. One will be at shift zero, and another will be at uh, shift five. Let us change its shift value. Now as you can see we have to define other parameters also like the time period for this uh, KMA calculation and then what should be the total time period the fast moving average period and the slow moving average period. So we have to define these uh, input parameters for the indicator as per our requirement. The default setup is also good enough. I will explain to you how the default setup looks like. So this is the KMA drawn with the default values 30 to 30 combination. 30 is the KMA time period. 2 is for uh, 2 and uh, 2 is for fast. Let me see, I got even confused. 2 is for fast MA period and uh, 30 is for slow MA period. Using these uh, three time period options, we get the idea of uh, how the volatility is uh, unfolding in the underlying instrument if there is too much volatility. As I have reiterated earlier also, there will be 
the trend present in the underlying instrument and as a result of that moving average will be keeping quite a good amount of distance but when the price action turns sideways we will see that uh, KMA might be even passing through that cluster of the price action candles or it might be fairly close enough now we are done with the KMA requirement we are not really going to change in change anything in this default value then comes the question of taking some info blocks so we head to the game platform and start looking for information box get historical candle default period is 10 minutes i think we will need to change this Okay, I have made it hourly now. KMA requirements done. Now it's time to look into the characteristics of the gate historical candle. We will need uh, to get historical candles as we need the prior candle to have closed in green or red as per the direction of the trend and the earlier candle should have uh, shown some correction and then the price should be rebounding closer to KMA so for that we are going to need multiple get historical candles as well Here also you will need to change the default period to 1 hour mm, Something is not working here Here a candle period Okay Good enough. Bid shift is going to be redefined at one. That means last hour's closing level will be taken into consideration, and this is going to be shift two, or we can even do shift five, as we only need to do the comparison and also we need to make sure that uh, even the prior candle has closed in the opposite direction before taking turn for the uh, turn as per our requirement on the same side of the trend of the indicator which is KAMA so here we will define this as two input value in this also uh, oh. Okay, so our bare bear bone structure is getting ready slowly and steadily. We have got now two historical candles and two KAMA moving average indicator blocks. We also need to do some calculation to make sure that there is enough volatility and uh, 
the underlying instrument has closed on the higher side if the trend is buy as per the KMA and underlying instrument has closed on the sell side below the KMA if the trend is bearish you will need to get ATR and some calculation expression also okay calculation expression law we have got we also need ATR ATR we will need ATR but ATR is not really showing up we will need to try it again maybe ATR is not showing up. I think there is some problem with the platform right now. So we will uh, not uh, use uh, ATR in today's session. Maybe we will add it uh, later on in tomorrow's session. Here we will need to utilize the values from derived from candle 16 and candle 17. We will need the last candle to have closed in green if the trade is on the buy side and we will need the last uh, prior candle before the last candle to have closed in red and vice versa for the sale trade so for the sale trade last candle should have closed in red whereas the prior candle closed in uh, green so that's how this is going to work So here we will need to take uh, candle 16 closing and opening price no this one I got it wrong we will need to go into the details of candle 16 actually auto created variable Candle 16 close and minus candle open. We will do candle A1 minus A2. And this will be the buy difference. And uh, we will also add one more calculation expression. And this will be for sell trade, for setting up the sell trade condition. need to look into the candle 16 price action only for the time being and uh, candle 16 open minus you will need to do candle close and we want the candle open to be lower than the candle close so that the sale trade can be executed will need uh, it as a difference and it will be a1 minus start value no. here uh, even I am tending to forget today a 
1 minus a 2 ok now let us check whether we can bring the ATR because we are using ATR to set this condition still it is not available really here so I think there is some uh, glitch in the platform maybe by tomorrow's session it will be fixed and we will be able to continue our work where we have added these uh, bunch of indicator blocks and then trying to design and develop the algorithm on our own so that's it for uh, today's session of the visual g4x i hope you have been able to understand the preliminary introductory session of uh, the visual j4x board and uh, if any of you have any idea or query to share you can write to me in the feedback section and i'll be more than happy to take the discussion forward here this is how it will look like it is going this is just uh, getting started and we will need to work on it for the next couple of patients also thank you all for joining in do have an excellent day ahead do subscribe to the Dicoscopy webinar channel goodbye